Hello and welcome to the Bronco Exchange. I'm your host, Dr. Shanessa Fenner, along with Jada Hazley. Hi. Hi, Jada. How are you? Today we have Adrian Ferguson. He's the Assistant Athletics Director for Media Relations at Bevel State University. Hi, Adrian. How you doing? I am doing great. So, Adrian, let's talk sports. Why don't we start off by talking about a little bit of football? Ah, uh, football. <laughs> yes, football. Tell me all about it. Uh, well, right now it's, it's a sore topic. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> now I won't say that. Uh, currently we are uh, one and four. Um, you know, we won our opening game versus Chuan. Um, I guess I'm, I'm going to be like coach a little bit, you know, not to make any excuses. We did start the year with 51 freshmen. Wow. Um, wow. So we currently have 106 members um, in the, on the football team. Um, and 51 of them are, are freshmen. Um, but, you know, everybody, you know, put their pants on the same way, you know, mm -hmm. one leg at a, at a time That's or right. one leg in each hole. Mm -hmm. uh, but they jumped the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but um, the team has had a, a tough schedule. Um, so, you know, we're at the halfway mark. Uh, we've had our two, non non our two cross divisional games. Um, where we play Virginia Union and we play Bowie State. Um, so now this Saturday coming up, you know, we're going to face Shaw University, which is our first Southern Division um, conference game. Um, so, you know, we feel that, you know, once we face these schools in the Southern Division, our toughest opponent will be our last game, Winston-Salem State, and we can either finish the season 6-4 and four or 5-5. Five and five. Now, is that the particular game that you're looking forward to, the Winston-Salem State one? I think that's the game that everyone is looking forward to. <laughs> uh, Winston-Salem State is definitely a Devil State rival, um, and that's in all sports. Um, and I say that because um, our AD, our current AD, uh, Mr. Anthony Bennett, um, he's an alumnus of Feather State, um, but prior to becoming the AD here at Feather State, he was an associate AD at Winston-Salem State. Yeah. Oh. Um, hmm. And then you look at... Um, the football coach, Richard Hayes, um, before joining Fever State, he was an assistant coach at Winston-Salem State. Wow. So it's on. It's on. And then a cross-country coach. Uh, she's won um, like seven championships in track and field and cross-country at Winston-Salem State, and now she's starting a program here at, at Fever State. So. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. So with that being said, in the games itself, do you think that everybody that comes to the game the fans, the band, the pep squad, the cheerleaders, does that aid in helping the players to win? Does it make a difference? Atmosphere plays a big factor in all games. Um, and everyone loves that home crowd, that home court advantage. Um, and, you know, you ask that question, and, you know, from my return back here at, uh, at Fayetteville State, you know, the first volleyball game, you know, me, myself, I was amazed for my first tenure here mm -hmm. to see in the crowd, you know, this first game back, the atmosphere is, is definitely a advantage. You know, to have the football players there, to have the students there, um, to have them loud, cheering, um, calling the visitors team's name, uh, not <laughs> name, but calling their name to, to be a um, distraction is, you know, that crowd support is very um, important. So I understand recently you've added a new um, cross country coach. Tell yes. me about that. Um, well, at Fayetteville State, you know, we've added um, indoor and outdoor track and field for women. Um, so in order to do that, to do that, we did make a change and we hired um, Inez Turner. Um, as I previously mentioned, she is coming from Winston Salem State. Um, she is. Um, she's a Jamaican. She's a, an Olympian. She's a former oh. champion. Uh, she has a rich background and, and rich history um, in her being a student athlete and being a, a coach. Um, she's a ball of energy and, and you get her talking about track and field and, and, and she can go on. Um, so this energy that she's bringing to campus has, has definitely got some students um, excited. Uh, she's definitely brought in some um, recruits with her. Um, and she's vying for a women's cross country championship this year. Um, you know, championship is going to be mid October, and we have a very strong chance of, of winning Fayetteville State's first cross cross country championship. Well, I hope so. And the fact that you brought up the women, 
Um, in women's sports in general, there's always a lower attendance than males. Why do you think that is? Well, um, from the fans' pr perspective, um, it may, I'm going to say it's the style of play, but I think it's just the excitement in, in, in play. And in most cases, um, some of that will probably have to do with recruitment. Um, now, a few years back, you know, when we had Coach Tucker and, and and we had a couple women, we had a couple championships under Co Coach Tucker, the atmosphere was different then. You know, okay. the fans was there, you know, they were com coming to the games. And we actually did a, a few splits back then to where the, where the women's team played second after the men's team. Okay. Um, but, you know, basketball is one of those tough ones. Um, you know, fans like to see the alley-oops, the dunks, and, you know, and stuff that's abo above the rim. Uh -huh. um, but that gives um, me the challenge, that gives our marketing team the, the challenge of promoting our women's, women's program because they are good. Uh -huh. um, and so we have to step up and do a better job and let uh, the fans know uh, the quality and players that, that we have um, and the quality and, and the staff that, that we have and the excitement of, of the games. <laughs> So, when will you be getting a soccer team? Um, soccer um, may not be in the works right now um, because for us to get the, to get a program, you know, we are a member of the CIAA, the Central Intercollegiate Athletic mm -hmm. Association, and right now that is not a sponsored sport uh, for the conference. Um, and as we're looking to increase our, our women's programs and our women's par participation. Uh, so that we have equal rights on, on the field um, and equal opportunities on, on the field. Uh, to add a sport like soccer or anything else, um, it would have to be in line with the conference. Because um, if not, then we're spending um, associate membership uh, to another conference, you know, just for that one, for that one sport. Okay, let's talk about homecoming. Homecoming. What kind of festivities you have planned? Well, my plans for homecoming is a football game. Uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, there's so many definitions of, of homecoming, um, but of course, athletics, you know, it's, it's the game itself. Um, but I will say, uh, this year, the way it has lined up, that the um, that Monday um, for kickoff week for homecoming, we have a home volleyball game. Okay. And we're playing Winston Southern State. Of course. That rival. <laughs> um, so, uh, we're asking our fans to come out to Cape Arena at 6 p.m. Um, to kick off homecoming with a volleyball game versus Winston-Salem State. Immediately following the volleyball game, we're going to do our Bronco Frenzy. And our Bronco, Bronco Frenzy is our version of Midnight Madness. Okay. Um, official basketball practice starts October 15th. So um, that Monday, the 16th, uh, we're going to introduce our, our players and our coaches to our fans. So homecoming is going to kick off with a bang with volleyball and the, and the introduction of basketball until that Saturday, you know, that Saturday, 2 p.m. in Luther Nick Gerald Stadium, and the Broncos will take on the Falcons of St. Aug. Okay. And to not go from a happy subject to a harder topic, is there a stigma associated with the female players? in general or specifically at Fayetteville State versus the male players? It's, mm, I, don't, I won't say touchy, but um, you say a stigma. Uh, no, there's not a stigma, but then there's a stigma in everything. You mm -hmm. know, we're all um, classified in one notion uh, or the other. Um, you know, whether that's being black or being white, you know, on an HBCU campus uh, or being, it, uh, international, uh, there are many stigmas, you know, out there. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we focus on creating um, an equal opportunity um, for our student athletes, regardless of race, gender, um, or um, decision. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, we are a LGBTQ safe campus. Um, and, you know, we're putting forth, you know, measures to make sure um, that they are welcome and that they feel safe um, being on our teams, um, in our stands, um, and, and being our, our fans. 
Um, and do you have some LGBTQ students? LGBTQ. Um, LGBTQ. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> tongue twister. Um, yeah. Um, no, not not that not that I know personally of. Okay. Um, you know, it's no one has been, you know, as identified as such. You know, I'm pretty sure. You know, uh, there are, but they're not being um, singled out. You know, they're not being identified, they're not being labeled. Um, you know, the label we have is that you're a Bronco. Mm -hmm. You know, that you're a student of, of, of Feather State. Um, so, um, you know, their choice is, is, is their choice and, their, and, and that's their right, you know, for, it, for that to be or whatever to be their, their choice. Um, you know, they are welcome, they are a part of the team, and they are crucial to the team. What sports did you play, Adrian? Mm. In high school, I did it all. <laughs> <laughs> it was football, basketball, baseball, track and field. Okay. Um, but I got a track scholarship to attend Livingstone. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's, you know, my college years. Um, I ran cross country, indoor, and out outdoor track. Did you win any major titles, awards, or anything for you? Um, I am. Um, I rather like to toot my own horn, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but I am a Hall of Fame member um, at, at Livingstone. Toot um, toot. You know, partly because, um, you know, being a student athlete, um, being an employee as a sports information director, and being a track coach also. Okay. What is the best piece of advice that you've received, Adrian, that you share with the students, student athletes? My best piece of advice is don't do it for money, do it because you enjoy it. Um, you know, as a student, um, you know, as a student, you know, you're told that you need a degree to get a job, you know, when you was once told you need a degree to get a job. Now you're told you need uh, a degree plus experience. Mm -hmm. uh, so volunteer is key um, because an employer wants to know that you know um, the, ter the terminology from going to class and the experience tells that you know how to utilize the, ter the terminology afterwards. Um, and so I, I, tell, I tell my students, you know, don't choose a major because, you know, the big bucks and that's what you get paid. Now, you can make all the money in the world, but if you don't enjoy what you're doing, mm -hmm. you're not going to enjoy that money, you know. Um, you know, always more money is more problems. Oh, you got that right. That's true. <laughs> mm -hmm. And if there was a student that was interested in your position and wanted to learn more from you, how would they go about doing that? Um, well, the university does have an internship program. Um, a lot of majors, you know, require their, their seniors to uh, do, in, do interns. Uh, but I, w I would advise don't wait till your senior year right. to try and get an intern, you know. If you know the direction that you want to go, um, you know, then start at that moment. Um, and hopefully it's not your senior year that you know exactly what you want to do when, right. when, when you graduate. Um, um, but I do have a, a team of volunteers and interns. I am using a number of mass comm majors, um, you know, to do some of the things that we're doing with, with video. Um, you know, I'm looking for some who are interested in, in writing um, and, and spinning because um, right now a uh, wonderful football team has, has a lot of spinning <laughs> we got to mm -hmm. do yeah. okay. uh, until we start winning. All right. um, well I thank you Adrian so much for your time. I wish of course the football team, basketball teams, everyone loads of success. Mm -hmm. Thank you for viewing the Bronco Exchange. I'm Dr. Fenner along with Jada. Have a great evening. Stranger, stranger, wait, hold up, don't run, I don't bind. Stranger,